breakdowns and increasing operational costs have highlighted the importance of using health sensors in water pumping stations. To meet the operator's needs, Grundfos offers IO113, a pump protection module. If more sensors are required or due to long wires to the pump, system is complemented with the SM113, installed inside the pump. The IO113 can handle a limited number of sensors itself, thermal and moisture switches, one PT1000 temperature sensor and one water in oil sensor. With the SM113, system will collect sensor data from, vibration sensors and water in oil are both analog signals. Additional bearings temperature sensors PT100 or PT1000 and the stator temperature. All measurements are transmitted to IO113 via power line through connections P4 and P5. Different systems and configurations are set in the dip switch included in the IO113. Now, we will show you some examples of functionality in simulations. We are going to start explaining the system simulation board. On the screen on your left, you will find a simulation board with signal simulation boxes, also with the Grundfos IO113 pump protection unit and the module SM113. With the signal simulator boxes, the target reproduces the effect in the Grundfos module when the different inputs change their status during the pump operation. Those digital signals are thermal and moisture switches. We will also simulate the pump running status, connected in the K2 and K1. On your left, you will find a simulation board with signal simulation boxes, and the Grundfos IO113 pump protection unit, when water enters to oil's chamber. On the screen on your right, you will find the wastewater tool interface. It is a Grundfos tool that allows us to see the values received in the pump protection module and display the status. Please do not consider the simulation system as a real installation example. For the installation details, please follow the I.O. manuals. Following the introduction, we are going to simulate a system with pump type A. Based on the following image. To start the system simulation, first we activate the pump running status input. Then the thermal switch input is activated. After it, we activate the moisture switch. As result you can see the alarm lids activated. We reset to clean the alarms and to follow simulating the water in oil sensor. Once the measurements reach different values, the system will show different blinking LED sequences to warn about water concentration in oil. In the PC tool you could appreciate how the measurement percentage increases, based on the analog signal. Please remember that IO113 will open the alarm and the warning physical outputs when it happens. Also remember that IO113 will not measure if status pump running is not active. As the second simulation, we are going to simulate a system with a pump type PB. Based on the following image. Please remember to follow the manual for the installation. To run the second system simulation, and after connecting the sensors, we should power off and power on the SM113 using the dip switch 6. After that step, SM113 will check all inputs to detect which sensors are connected. Again, the pump running status input should be active in the simulations. Then the thermal switch input is activated. After it, we activate the moisture switch. As a result, you can see the alarm lids blinking. We must reset to clear the alarms. Once simulating the water in the oil sensor, the measurements reach different values. The system will show different blinking LED sequences informing about water concentration in oil. Also, you could appreciate how the measurement percentage increases based on the analog signal in the PTOL screen. Remember that the IO113 will open the alarm and the warning contacts when it happens. In the image, you will see the inputs and outputs in IO113. Apart from alarm and warning digital outputs, you will find analog outputs to transmit the status of the water in the oil sensor and the stator temperature. 
IO113 also allows insulation resistance measurements and activates an alarm if it happens. It can be installed and wired for different wastewater pump protection and status monitoring. Remember that a good overview of warnings could help reduce your repair costs and improve your maintenance planning. We have arrived at the end of this video. Please remember. Take all preventive measures to avoid accidents during the works previous the dip switches configuration and wirings, check the type of protection and the sensors in your pump. The SM113 installation should be inside the pump. Use screened cable to reduce the noise from others' electronic devices. IO113 should be installed in a low voltage area. To improve the operations and cost reduction, IO113 installations can be expanded with the Grundfos dedicated control. The purpose of this video is to show a basic generalist example. Always read the manual beforehand and contact your manager if you have questions. Thank you for your attention.